All right, hey, what's up guys? This is Jay here. And today I wanted to do a comparison video between the OnePlus 7 Pro and the uh, Pixel 3 XL. And the reason why I'm doing that is because um, I purchased the OnePlus 7 Pro when it first launched. I bought the uh, 12 gig, 256, or 12 gig of RAM, 256 gigs of storage model. And unfortunately I had some problems with it. Uh, at first because the device when I unboxed it and I was planning to um, upload this a video for it uh, came defect what it defects on um, the the side of the panel was scratched and so like that you know kind of ruined it a little bit and I still was using it but um, I wanted to you know get some time on it and then return it and get a new get a replacement and that's what I did now and I wanted to give you guys my experience on the OnePlus 7 Pro so far. Uh, this is before the update of the new camera, which, you know, we'll go ahead and go through the, breeze through the comparison between the two models. And then um, towards the end of the video, I'll put the camera comparisons there. So really I wanted to talk about more so the design and that part of that does the software aspect first. And um, one of the first complaints I had with the OnePlus 7 Pro was the size of the phone. It was massive, or it is massive. Um, and really, it couldn't, it was really hard to hold in hand and it still is. Um, I believe you can get away with it if you're using a case. Now, if you're not, then like myself, then it's a little bit slippery in the back. It's it's super smooth, probably the slipperiest phone I've ever used. I keep saying that, but I mean, this is really the sleep, slipperiest phone I've ever used. Um, if you compare that with the Pixel 3 XL, for example, like this one, it's not as slippery at all. The the backing, the I guess the finish that they use, it's it's a lot easier to use also because it's the phone is not curved. So it makes it a lot easier to use really in general and then it's smaller of course like the phones i mean side by side they're basically like uh the one plus seven pro is just taller it just everything's taller about it uh if i can get that in camera it's a little bit taller a little bit wider but because of the curves you know it makes it hard to use and then of course with the pixel 3 xl the notch is kind of like eh this is not that great. You see that, like it's, I don't know, it's kind of okay. But uh, yeah, um, the main thing with the OnePlus 7 Pro, the design is a lot better than the Pixel 3 XL. Uh, dual speakers are a little bit better. They're on par, personally speaking. Um, the charging, obviously a lot better. OnePlus does lose on the lack of wireless charging and uh, no IP certification. So if you're into that, that stuff, if you really need it, personally, I don't. But if you do, then you know you might wanna stay away from this phone. I think that for the wireless charging part is really a bummer. It really could, they really should have put it in here. I don't know why, especially on this quote unquote pro model, which I'll get into in a second. It's not really for professionals, it's just some sort of like way to say this is a better version of the regular model, I suppose. But of course you also have the uh, front facing camera, which I'll demonstrate. Let's see if we can do that. You guys can see the pop out camera right there. Hopefully I can get the camera to focus. So you see the front camera right there. And it does pop out. And if you do lower the, if you drop the camera, for example, it can, it can go ahead and tuck itself back in. Not a problem. It's pretty fast. I'm sure you guys seen other videos, so I'm not going to cover that too much. Now you compare that to the Pixel 3 XL, you know, it has the dual front facing cameras there. And those two, you know, one's a normal selfie camera, a normal wide angle, and then the other is a ultra wide angle. So. It's a little bit different. I personally don't really use the wide angle all that much. Personally speaking, I'm not like 
at parties all the time with a bunch of friends and you know that doesn't happen too often enough to warrant that giant notch also so I'm okay with the solution that OnePlus has had for this uh, iteration with having the pop-up camera. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, the design, the phone, like the software experience. Um, the OnePlus 7 Pro, you know, as you can see, it doesn't have a um, always on display, so you're going to have to use this, you know, um, kind of ambient display, I believe they call it. So versus the you know Pixel 3 XL, if that's something that you want, then you're gonna have to basically live with it or try to live with it if you really want that all screen display and not 90 hertz refresh rate which speaking of that 90 hertz that's one of the reasons why i you know returned the phone and got a uh, you know got a different uh, basically replacement model i think that every phone should have it even with the battery uh issue there like it drains the battery a little bit more it's definitely worth it in my opinion um, it, uh, the camera won't pick it up, won't pick up the speed, but just, you know, believe me, if you get, try, try it in the store, I think that's probably the best way. And if you won't start, just try it there and, you know, see for yourself. It's pretty amazing. The other software experiences with um, the Pixel 3 XL, in particular, the RAM management is kind of, you know, kind of an issue from time to time. Um, things just reload and uh, the phone actually for me tends to get pretty hot quite often more often than I um, Would have light it's not jailbreaker by any means uh, The biggest thing though is if you're trying to game on this phone um, gaming is not its strong suit for sure um, it Seems to heat up around this area quite a bit um, I believe That's probably where the processor or the motherboard is so it heats up quite a bit, especially playing uh, heavy, intensive games, which I do sometimes. Um, you know, mainly playing like my my gotcha games, so like Honkai Impact or like Azure Lane, which like all the other OnePlus phones I've owned never had a problem except for Pixel 3 XL. Even my Samsung S8 Plus does not get as hot as this guy. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe it's just my model, but it's weird. Now again, so with the OnePlus, on their hand, it gaming, it, 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 it's, it's a gaming champ. It's able to just, you know, take what I throw at it and more really. And so this model I got, it's not the 12 gig RAM version, it is the 8 gig 256. Uh, I think that I chose this version over the 12 gig of RAM again because I felt that it was overkill. Don't really need it, frankly speaking. Speaking, I already have the, uh, the old OnePlus 6, and this one, like, you know, no problems with gaming at all. And this only has, like, you know, six or eight gigs around, depending on which one you get. So, and I have the eight gig, so I mean, I didn't have any problems with that. So that's why I stuck with, you know, saved my money and went with the eight gig model. And so, yeah, um, OnePlus is not sponsoring me, sponsoring me for this. So, yeah, if you spot OnePlus, you want to sponsor me, let me know. Um, so, otherwise, the, the software experience on both are top notch, barring those two little things. Is like, you know, one each operating system. They're both based off Android, but the operating systems on both what they do on top of um, the base OS, if you will, uh, makes it unique. For example, Pixel has the Pixel specific features such as the call screening, the uh, now playing feature which plays the music at the bottom here if uh, you know if you, there's music in the ambient background and then it has this um, flip to shush, shush and so what that does is it mutes or puts you put your phone into do not disturb as soon as you flip it over I don't find that feature too you know too cool but it works it's cool like for what it is um, the major ones are call screening and now playing in that particular order, especially, you know, you're at a party, you're, you know, with friends, and then you want to know what's playing in the background, nobody else does, you can tell them right away. So that's a pretty cool party trick, personally. And so with the call screening feature, it's awesome. 
when I'm at work, I don't want to take a phone call from some random number. I can go ahead and hit the call screening button and tell them what I, you know, basically send them to Google and then let them deal with the robocalls or whatnot. So yeah, that was really cool. And then for OnePlus, you know, they have their Oxygen, Oxygen OS updates specific, like Fanatic mode, gaming mode. They have Zen mode. That's a new feature. I believe those are two new features for this uh, operating system. Uh, they of course upgraded the camera software, which we'll get later, get to later. The other updates include <clears throat> so OnePlus has always been great about optimizing the software. In the past, actually, I noticed that the some of the notifications don't come in as often because of their aggressive uh, manage it, brand management. And so what happens is that um, notifications will get delayed or dropped if you, if you have the default settings on, of course. Even with the advanced settings, I didn't never put those on, but I was used to get delayed notifications. And so with the OnePlus 7 Pro, before I returned it, I used it about two weeks and I tested it basically by putting two phones, my, my OnePlus 7 Pro and the Pixel 3 XL next to each other on Wi-Fi only and then send myself a message basically um, or an email basically to, to see what would happen and I noticed that the OnePlus 7 Pro gets it a little bit later still but it does get it so that's the big thing and it does, it's not delayed by like minutes or hours it's only delayed in seconds so maybe like I don't know five ten seconds delay between the Pixel 3 XL and OnePlus 7 Pro so those are two things and then so i'm glad that they updated the software to be less aggressive in that aspect i don't know if they actually changed anything but in my experience it seems to have changed okay so the other thing i wanted to go over for oneplus is the software itself just the experience using it the parallel apps is a really nice feature so you can get two instagrams two telegrams two your kind of most used social media applications of so Discord or some other ones too. Uh, Messenger, I, I already mentioned that. Instagram. So yeah, you can get duplicates so that um, if you do have multiple accounts, you can go ahead and use that. So I found that really useful. You know, the Pixel 3 doesn't have any of those kind of features that kind of make the phone that much more useful. For example, I do have like, multiple Instagram Instagram accounts. So, so for example, I do have multiple Instagram accounts. So, it's really nice to have two applications that are clone basically. So that makes it really cool. Otherwise, again, the both software experiences are pretty on par, frankly speaking, and you can't go wrong with either one. So yeah, and then. All right, so one last thing about the hardware that I forgot to mention is the Pixel 3 XL's power button. It's made out of plastic, which is kind of annoying because uh, the plastic doesn't, like when I click it, I think you guys can hear it. I don't know if it, it has a different sound than like metal button. But yeah, it, it, it's very like, not, hmm, how do I say it? It, it? It's kind of annoying, I guess. Maybe that's still the best word. But when I do the OnePlus, for example, it's a little bit not as loud. It's pretty silent. And I don't, I don't think it's due to the actual button material, potentially. Uh, I believe it's uh, due to the way that the, the, I guess the base portion of where the button kind of depresses and then against whatever contact capacitor type sheet that they have uh, behind. And I'm sure you guys can look at like something like Jerry Riggs, um, everything's um, breakdown of two phones and you can probably see there's probably a little bit difference there in how they implemented it. But I find that a little bit annoying with the Pixel 3 XL because it's loud. Like, I'm not sure why they did that or did they even know that they were doing that that you know that you press the button so that you know it's makes this really loud uh, plastically 
noise, so it feels kind of cheap at the same time. All right, guys, so I updated the OnePlus 7 Pro software to the latest version, which is of this recording, version 9.5.8. And 9.5.7 was the last major uh, update with the camera updates um, and then some of the ghost, um, I guess, touch inputs. Um, 9.5.8 was more of just a minor update. There were some little camera issues, I think, related to the pop up camera. And so uh, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts about the camera now uh, that I have about a week worth of time to mess around with it, play with it, just take random photos. And I'll upload those to a Google Do uh, Drive uh, that you guys can see instead of posting it here so you guys can view them. And for me, the biggest thing was always been the HDR and then the detail in the photos. The HDR has gotten a lot better. Actually, I think even better than the Pixel 3 XLs and especially in night mode. I tried it in night mode uh, the other day and the OnePlus 7 Pro did a better job at controlling highlights. Uh, the Pixel 3 didn't as well. Uh, it's not as good on that part. However, the uh, the Pixel 3 XL is a lot better in the details still, even now. While the OnePlus 7 Pro is a little bit less detailed, less sharp. And then the colors, uh, they kind of trade blows in my opinion. It just, I think that's more of our preference rather than, you know, give you guys what I, you know, think is which one's better. There's really no better one in terms of colors. I personally prefer more natural looking colors. That's accurate. So then I can remember you know, when I look back someday, oh, I took this photo and it looked like this instead of some saturated photo, which it looks good on social media. But again, I'd rather have the original photo be natural and then edit myself and other folks might be different. So if you want natural, the most natural, go for the Pixel 3 XL and then, or Pixel 3, 3A, what have you. And then if you want more kind of social media ready to share type of thing go with the oneplus 7 pro it it does its job and i believe also for the cameras specifically the ultra wide camera they are oneplus is planning to release an update that can allow for video on the ultra wide so that's going to be really cool um i feel like they should have had that in the beginning and then as of today, I read an article from Android Authority about that they didn't release the latest firmware uh, for the retail version because they, you know, there was a cutoff time for their software to make it through, which is fine. Again, it would have been really nice to have that transparency from engineering to marketing. Being a software engineer myself, I understand that they have deadlines, they have to meet a certain cut and then, you know, there's a cutoff basically, right? And so again, I don't mind that, but be upfront with, I think the consumer, especially if you're telling DxO and all these other people that, hey, you know, your camera's really good, but you didn't give the latest firmware. Like, I think people would have been more willing to buy the phone and not trash the camera or even be more forgiving given that, okay, we know that there's a software update coming and then they could say something like the camera is in the beta firmware we're still testing it as of this time whatnot i don't know you know i'm sure someone from in marketing or like whatever can give you the best information so i mean minor you know outside of that i think the update has been really good overall it's really fast really reliable a lot more reliable, I'd say, still than the Pixel 3 XL in terms of just the experience. The Pixel 3 XL, the user menu, it's not very uh, user friendly, unfortunately. Like the OnePlus 7 Pro really just copies the uh, iPhone esque menu. And you see that it's really easy to just go to different modes. You can swipe, you can, you know, go back and forth. You can swipe up and then hit all the modes that you want. It's 
I think it, that's really useful because for one hand to use especially, you just use one hand and click whatever you want and then you're good to go. With the Pixel 3 XL, you have to swipe over this little menu this way. Really the major difference between the OnePlus software and then the Pixel 3 camera software, it, it basically, the UI is a lot better on the OnePlus. Um, I don't know why Google decided to make it a different way. Just copy them, who cares? Like, it works. It works really well. Like, so yeah, um, the, the camera on the OnePlus 7 Pro, really top notch now. Um, even like other YouTubers have started using it and I have to agree with them, it, it, it is a lot better now. Can I say it's the best camera and can I say it's worth the money? I think that depends on you because for me, I didn't repurchase this phone for just the camera. You know, it, it the camera was basically at this point, it's good enough for me and that I can use it on a daily without feeling uh, embarrassed effectively when I share photos or if I wanted to print the photos, they're going to come out all um, denoised basically or have this oil painting effect as people call it online. So I think that's good. And the video camera on the OnePlus 7 Pro, way better than the Pixel 3 XL. So if you want video, this is the way to go. Either this or like, um, you know, iPhone 10, 10s, pretty much have it good locked in. Uh, Samsung, of course, has it locked in. Fortunately, Pixel, not as good. So if you just want photos, pure photos only, no video, Pixel 3 XL for sure. If you want, if you want a better camera experience, I think the OnePlus 7 Pro brings that to the table. So yeah, with that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the review kind of comparison video. If you uh, have any suggestions of what I could do, what videos to do next, what phones to get, or any kind of OnePlus or Pixel type uh, videos I can do, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, uh, it's been a good time, and then I'll see you guys next time. Peace.